when um, there's a de decrease in the types of diversity of bat microbes, there's an association with conditions like irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease, and even anxiety and depression has been linked to changes in the gut microbiome. So that's a very good question and it's probably going to be an individualized answer, but there are some common themes that we're seeing, that most people are not eating enough fiber. Fiber is a food source for our gut microbiota. Um, one study showed that Americans, for instance, are only needing about 5% of their fiber needs. Fiber comes in a number of different shapes and forms. There's the insoluble fiber that's at the skin of fruits and vegetables. And then there's a number of other types of fiber, soluble fibers or fermentable fibers that are found in things like garlic and beans and onion and wheat. And those the bacteria feed off of, the preferential, the good bacteria feed off of and really balance out um, that good bacteria profile in our gut. I think a lot is going to go back to the poor diet that we're eating that lacks fiber. We really need to encourage people to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and whole grains and nuts and seeds and look at different healthy types of fats. So FODMAP is an acronym that stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. FODMAPs basically are a group of commonly malabsorbed uh, sugars and fibers. They're carbohydrates um, that can trigger symptoms in people with a sensitive intestine, such as those with irritable bowel syndrome. So people can eat FODMAPs. They're healthy for our gut microbes. Many of them function as prebiotics or food for the healthy gut microbes. So the low FODMAP diet is really a three-phase diet. The elimination phase is the beginning. The second phase, we systematically add back FODMAPs to see if we can help the patient identify their personal triggers. And then the last phase is that we add back the foods that they can tolerate and liberalize that as much as possible so that you can enjoy as many foods as possible.